Hey everybody, it's me, TPG. It is the 24th of September, 2017, and I am here for my nightly vlog. My eyes are a little red. I don't know if I've got an allergy or something. I don't know what's going on, but they hurt pretty bad. So I don't know what's going on. I might have to go to the doctor tomorrow and check it out. But anyway, I want to talk tonight about something that I just finished watching, which is Wonder Woman. I just finished this movie, and I'm going to do a review on it. Now, I grew up with Wonder Woman. She's been one of my childhood heroes, along with Batman and Superman. So I was very, very excited to see this movie. And I didn't go see it in the theaters, unfortunately. And um, I just didn't see it in the theater. But anyway, you know, I grew up with the Linda Carter Wonder Woman with the invisible jet and her being in the military and Steve Trevor and all of that. Her spinning around and turning into Wonder Woman and all the great stuff, the classic traditional Wonder Woman that I was used to. Now... In this movie, first of all, this woman that plays her, her name is Gal Gadot. She is beautiful. She's absolutely stunning. And she favors what, you know, the Linda Carter Wonder Woman sort of looks like. She didn't favor Linda Carter, but she has that same beauty and innocence that Linda Carter possessed as Wonder Woman. Um, now, she doesn't spin around in this movie to turn into Wonder Woman. So I was kind of like, oh, okay. So, I, you know, you got to kind of put your traditional Wonder Woman aside, which I learned in the first few minutes of the movie because you're not going to see that Wonder Woman. This is a whole new Wonder Woman, a whole new creation. So once I got past that, I was like, okay, so the movie starts off and, you know, you see her and she's like flashing back to her story. And basically her story, she's from the Amazon. She is the daughter of Zeus and Hippolyta. And she is this little girl and you see her aunt is teaching all these warriors to fight and everything. And she wants to be a warrior. And eventually she grow, uh, her aunt trains her to be one of the greatest Amazonian warriors of all time. And you discover that she has a magic power, a superpower, mind you. She rescues Steve Trevor and um, from the water, and they, you know, he realizes he's on this island of Amazonian women and all this kind of stuff. Now, in this one, it, it, it takes place. First of all, let me back up. It takes place in World War One. So Steve Trevor is is in the military. He is a spy. However, it's not. You know, the military like we saw in the TV series in the 70s, it's not a base. No, he's a spy. And eventually, eventually he takes uh, uh, her back with him to do his mission and complete his mission. And he's the one that actually names her Diana Prince. Well, her name is Diana already, but he gives her the last name Prince um, because she's a princess. He's the one that helps her get plain clothes and kind of hide out plain clothes, which to me, one of the funniest scenes in the movie was when his secretary, Etta Candy, which I thought was great, um, she was so funny, was helping her change into different outfits. And at one point she's like, she's trying on number 600, I mean, 262 outfits uh, until uh, Diana finds one she likes. So basically, you know, it was, it was really good and she's setting out to save the world and save the world from Ares, who's the god of war. And that's what her mission is. And his mission is to save the, the, you know, the war in Germany and to stop the war in Germany. So it's... <sighs> The war, the, the, the training scenes are badass. I loved it. I thought it was badass. And some badass women. And this little girl right here, this little woman right here is a badass one woman. Now, when she fights, she's badass. And I read somewhere, I believe that she is, is, is Israeli and she was in the Israeli army or something. And she does a lot of her own stunts and stuff. So she's absolutely fabulous in the fighting scenes and stuff like that. She does have the magic lasso, which I enjoyed seeing. She didn't have the invisible jet. And she didn't spin around. She just kind of was always Wonder Woman or she'd rip off her clothes and she be Wonder Woman. Um, and so it's a lot different in that aspect of the, the original Wonder Woman series. Um, I'm not going to give away too much. When I do my reviews, I try not to because if you haven't seen the film, I don't like to ruin it for people that haven't seen the film. But things are a lot different. I got a little, I, I got a little touched at the end of the movie uh, between her and Steve Trevor, um, her love interest in the movie. Um, he was her first of so many things, and I love the way that they did that. And when she came into our world, you know, her innocence was betrayed so brilliantly by this actress. And Chris Pine was so great as Steve Trevor and helping her learn her world and all of this kind of stuff that she's now living in. It's a good movie. Um, um, it's very fast-paced pa uh, fast in parts. Um, it explains a lot of her history, a lot of where she comes from before, you know, she's runs off and meets Batman and all of that because in the beginning of the movie you see she's working for Wayne Enterprises so she's obviously friends with Batman um, so you know all in all yes I really love the movie I had to as I said put all your traditional Wonder Woman's aside her outfits not even I mean it's similar but it's if you look it's similar but it's not the same you know here's the back of the box yeah, uh, Steve Trevor's a totally different character you know it, so put all of that aside and you'll really like the movie 
it's a totally different interpretation of Wonder Woman. Now, I love Linda Carter. I do. I still think she's one of the most beautiful women in the world, and she was such a badass Wonder Woman. Which this girl's badass. This girl's like bad to the bone, Wonder Woman. Like, she's bad. Um, I, it's hard to compare the two because they were both, to me, so good in what they did. Um, you know, for the traditional, I guess it was the '70s Wonder Woman that Linda Carter did. You know, that was the perfect Wonder Woman. She was gorgeous. She had the body. She had the looks. You know, she, her her battle scenes were kind of fake, but that's what was popular back then on television. Where these are much more real, they're more CGI, you know, she could jump and flip, and you see all this great CGI stuff that they used to really make her more enhanced as Wonder Woman. So, I recommend you go out and see the movie. If you haven't seen Wonder Woman, go out and see it. And like I said, just leave behind all your traditional Wonder Womans, because I had to, because like I said, I grew up with Linda Carter's Wonder Woman, and Wonder Woman was one of my heroes growing up for a long, long time. So I had to definitely, you know, put aside all of that and was like, okay, let me watch this movie and know that it's not the same Wonder Woman. And somebody had already told me the ending before I saw it, so that had really made me kind of boycott the movie in the theater because I was like, that's not supposed to happen. It doesn't happen that way. But I regret that decision of not seeing it in the theater because the action scenes were so great that I wish I could have saw some of them on the theater. Um, I, it made me very excited to see the Justice League. There is a preview for it at the beginning of the DVD, so that looks like it's going to be pretty bad, bad to the bone as well. So go out and get yourself a copy of Wonder Woman from Netflix or Walmart or Target or somewhere, or rent it off Direct TV, something like that. But watch Wonder Woman. I do recommend it for anybody that is a Wonder Woman fan. However, like I keep saying, put all your traditional Linda Carter Wonder Woman's aside and just enjoy this movie as they've done with most of the comic book movies they've kind of given them a whole new origin a whole new life a whole new um, meaning so versus what we've read in the comic books because I grew up with a lot of these characters so you know like when I saw the, the Batman or Spider-Man or you know well, Superman I'm like no that's not supposed to happen no it can't be that way so I've had to really escape a lot of that you know as I gotten older and as they've done more and more of these movies and, and learned to enjoy them for the new generation of what they are. And this is definitely the new generation's Wonder Woman. I don't even know if a lot of young people would even remember their traditional Linda Carter Wonder Woman. Um, so to some people, this may be the only Wonder Woman that they know. So it is a good movie. It, I, would, I would definitely say go out and see Wonder Woman, enjoy it. And this is a kick-ass lady, and I'm going to tell you, she's kick-ass, she's bad to the bone. And Wonder Woman, I think, is probably the one of the most hailed and loved female superheroes in the world. Uh, everyone knows who Wonder Woman is. I mean, you know, you've got Supergirl and Batgirl and all that, but and they're cool, but they're nothing like Wonder Woman. I mean, everybody knows who Wonder Woman is. She's super famous. She's like Batman and Superman and Incredible Hulk and Spider-Man. She's incredibly, incredibly uh, loved and known by people. Um, so watch this movie it explains so much of her origin and where she comes from so I just wanted to say uh, it's a great movie go out and watch it and I love 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 Wonder Woman I have no idea anything Wonder Woman I just love so and also Catwoman is my other one that I love too and so every time they do a, a Catwoman movie or a Catwoman villain I have to watch it because Catwoman is like the bomb diggity too so alright you guys Wonder Woman check it out let me know in the comments below what you think about Wonder Woman when you watch it. Um, or if you've already seen it, let me know your opinion of it. I'd love to hear that. And remember that hating is a disease and some people need to get well soon. All right, guys. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. All right, guys. See you later.